Goodwill and Pacific Beach and I'm basically gonna go thrifting and try to find some fun fall fashion goods, so come along. It's dark and it's cold. I just picked up this piece and I kind of feel like I'm trying to be a um, professional like male ice skater. I really like the look of like silky button-up shirts with like a tie with high-waisted pants. It's it's a look alright. Yeah, I feel very over the top in this moment. But. So I'm liking this shirt. Um, I literally feel like I'm straight out of that 70s show. I just walked by and found this toy machine and I want this pistol necklace so bad because I have pistol earrings that I love. So, okay, dear lord help me. I would be so stoked. Oh, I mean 25 cents, what a deal. Oh, it's a ring, okay. Well, okay, it's not the worst thing. I mean, it's not the cutest, but you know. Gone for safari? Yes. This is my new summer look. I'm out here thrifting with my beautiful friend Lila. Hello. She actually has a YouTube channel too. It's all about like veganism and health and whatnot. It's Lila. Okay, it's actually fresh fit and fearless. Yes. On yes. I'll leave the description below. You should check it out. It's got great content. Hi, hello, how's it going? It's Elena, I just got back from thrifting here in San Diego with my friend and I'm excited to share what I got with you guys. So, I got quite a few items, but first off, something that I have been... There's a lot of weird background noises, like airplanes and people yelling, sorry, we're just gonna have to go with it, take this off. There's a new part of my channel that I've been wanting to do for a little while. I wanna incorporate fashion with a purpose. Fashion pieces that are either sold by a nonprofit that basically work to support artisans in other countries. I'm super passionate about supporting women and men, entrepreneurs and artisans in poor countries who use their craft and their trade and their locally sourced materials to basically provide for their family. As a consumer myself with an expendable income, I have so much power and you have so much power in the things that you buy and every product has a story. That's why I wanted to start incorporating this to basically support these smaller artists, people that are impoverished in a very meaningful and tactical and easy way. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I'll be explaining it more in later videos. I'm really stoked on this first item. It is a sweater from a company called PACA, which is a wool apparel company that is focused on empowering Peruvian women and their families. And it's this beautiful sweater. They say it's softer than cashmere, and honestly, I would agree with that. It is so soft. So they do have a Kickstarter, which I've included below. Um, feel free to donate if it's something that you feel passionate or moved to do so. It's a way to impact the lives of a way to impact the lives of other people um, through the products you buy and it's super natural comfortable to wear so yeah I recommend checking it out now jumping into my thrifted pieces the first item I got is this little button-up shirt which I am so in love with it has this print I forget what it's called I think there's a specific name for it but whenever I see it I automatically think of Burberry not that it is Burberry but I just think of the brand whenever I see this color in this print it has these beautiful little flowers embroidered on it and I just roll up the sleeves and tie up the front and just throw it with a pair of jeans and it's just a cute top to have, easy to wear. One of the other items I got is this shirt and this one has gotta be, ugh, I would say this is my favorite but I love everything I got. It just feels so retro, it's like the perfect colors for fall and I love that it's like a knit top so even though it's a short sleeve and I live in California it will kind of keep me a little bit warmer so I'm so obsessed with like this retro 70 vibes it's giving off and yeah I just think it's such a great piece. Alright the next top I got is this beautiful blouse. Oh my goodness, I think it's so stunning. It's very different than my normal style, but I think it's gonna be so fun to mix and match. I actually already wore it in a lookbook, and I plan on wearing it even with a banty over top, which might sound a little funky, but I've seen it before and it's super cute. It's like sheer, but not too sheer. It has awesome like ruffling uh, texture to it and these really cool polka dots that kind of like just make it a little bit cooler. I'm loving this. And then the last two things I got are both pairs of pants. And um, hello to the coolest pair of pants I've ever owned in my entire life. 
I'm loving it. They're just these beautiful bright green lime pants that I think are so fun. They're Wranglers and they fit me really well, which is really rare. And I just think this color is super fun and out there. So I was so excited when I found these. And then last but not least is this pair of purple corduroys. I absolutely love cords. I think I have like three pairs and this is my fourth. I have a problem. I know. Working on it. Not really. It's a very rich, deep purple color, which I think is so stunning. They're fun because they're like slightly high-waisted, so I'll probably wear it with like a band tee tucked in or a fun blouse. And I did cut off the bottom, so it kind of has that torn, like, raggedy look at the bottom. They fit me really well. They're super cheap, and so I was so excited when I found them. All right, thanks so much for watching. That is my thrift haul. I think this is, like, my third thrift haul or fourth, and I plan on doing many more. I am definitely excited to incorporate them in lookbooks and just to do more thrift hauls in the future. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye!